My name is Bill, and uh, for this evening, uh, I have to demonstrate to you, to you the Hellfly. This is a good one for beginners, a nice dry fly. There's no hackle. It consists of a tail of moose. You could probably use any kind of tail material, you know, uh, uh, anything for a tail that you normally use fibers from a um, hackle. Uh, body is muskrat. You could probably substitute most any kind of dubbing and uh, this is um, coastal deer hair it's uh, different than uh, deer hair belly it doesn't splay when you tie it uh, it's, you can never make a floating deer bug out of that so uh, but it makes a real nice post for a wing and that's all there is to it I'll uh, I'll get going here and I have a size 18 hook right here in the uh, in the vise so allow me to just uh, if you're familiar, probably familiar how to do this, you just start about the middle of the hook, wrap your way back, get in position to put a little tail on there. And as I said, the tail, I always use this moose. It's uh, super nice stuff for tails. Moose body hair, incidentally, as opposed to moose mane. Uh, tail, just dry fly proportional. Uh, let's see, about not quite the length of the shank of the hook is 18 so well okay got that wrapped on tight uh, uh, next would be the wing I like to put the uh, flat ends in the unflared part of the stacker and put them in backwards and most of would stack them up Might be a little, that's about right, I guess. Didn't count those, but uh, whatever that is, that's about right for my size 18 dry fly, I think. Put that on there, a couple of nice easy wraps. Now I tighten it up. Okay, I'm gonna shorten that a little bit. Okay, now you leave a good, about a hook eye and a half behind the hook eye as you wrap that up to the front of the hook snip the tailing end off when you got it since I had it in my hand then I take the front and just pull it back put a little dam get that stuck up that might be a little bit long but it looks like hell when you're done so that'll uh, you always get a little piece of muskrat in most any dubbing will work. Muskrat floats real good and I like to use it and nice gray little bug when you're done. Now I chop that up. A little dubbing wax gives a tighter body and uh, makes a neater looking fly but I found if you get it too tight it doesn't like to float as well as uh, in just old fluffy old dry fly. So and I can dub this a little thinner with a wax on it. So that's what we do. Okay. And that's... Okay, that's plenty. How long is that? Three and a half, four inches? And yeah, probably end up being too much before we're done. I just get that, wind it back so that the Dubbing starts going on right there at the end. One right in front of the other, make a nice tapered little body there. Pull her back, put a couple more in front of that. That holds the, the wing up. Then I try to make a couple of figure eights here. And I was right, had a little too much dubbing. So we just do that to it. And there's time to just build a nice little head. I get, uh, I'm old fashioned. I'll use the little old, uh, what the heck is it? I always stab myself with it when I'm not looking for it. Good old, not uh, half hitch tool. If you're proficient with the old uh, whip finisher, that's good too, but this always works. Look, broke right off just in time. So that's, uh, that's the little old hellfly.